Welcome into the Cowboys Report, presented today by Roan. Their commuter collection, I'm wearing one of their shirts, by the way, gets you straight to the workday into whatever comes next. Get 20% off everything when you use promo code CHATSPORTS over at roan.com slash chatsports. Links in the comment section and the description, and we'll tell you more about them later on in today's show. But we're talking playoffs Playoffs, yeah, you are, because you've locked up a playoff spot, which it's always nice to have that locked up in mid-December. The Cowboys did that. Now we're trying to figure out where exactly they will end up. As things sit right now, they are at minimum locked into the five seed, but still alive, however slim those odds are for the one, two, and three seeds. We'll break it all down in depth here, but hey, the Cowboys are in the playoffs for back-to-back -back years for the first time in a very long time. First double-digit, uh, or 12-plus wins, I should say, in back-to-back -back years since last time they won a Super Bowl. If you are excited about being a playoff team, like the video. We should all be happy about that, right? I don't think we can be that negative and go, oh, here we go again. You're in the playoffs. First back-to-back -back years, first time in a long time. I know we want more. We should. That's pretty good. So like the video if you agree. Cowboys, of course, played on Thursday night, so it's a bit of a light Sunday today for the Cowboys. Week 18 against the Commanders. Uh, we'll talk more about that later on. The Cowboys are still alive in the NFC East, but they need help, and a lot of it. So as things sit, entering the remainder of the Week 17 games this week, NY Times, Upshot, Simulator, Projections, all that good stuff, Chance at the number one seed, 2%. The number two seed, 2%. Number three seed, 1%. 95% chance at being the number five seed to win the NFC East. Well, you're at a 5% chance right now. Here's your path, by the way, to that number one seed for Dallas. It's pretty straightforward. Cowboys win out. Eagles lose out. Vikings lose a game. And the Niners lose a game. Now, if Cowboys win out, Eagles lose out, Vikings lose one, uh, but the Niners don't, then you're the two seed. The three seed is actually kind of fairly, pretty complicated from that standpoint. It's just, you know, you, the Vikings and Niners all win out, and you uh, win out, Eagles lose out, so you kind of just get settled there. Again, you win the division, you're at least going to be the three seed, but that's unlikely with where things sit, which we'll get to more in depth. But you saw the odds there. What seed... Will the Dallas Cowboys end up getting this year? Is it the one, two, three, or five? There are no other options. Get those predictions in for me in the comment section. It is, by the way, the pin poll on today's video. So if the ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. The game we should be watching intently this week, which shouldn't surprise anyone, is the New Orleans Saints. At the Philadelphia Eagles, the odds skyrocket to 16% it, to get the number or to get the, to win the division, I should say. If the uh, Cowboys, if the Saints beat the Eagles, 27% if the Cowboys beat the Commanders, because the Eagles are going to be heavy favorites against the Giants. Does not sound like Jalen Hurts will play. I will make note we're filming this before the inactives come out, but the video will come out uh, after the inactives are released. So just timing, keep that in mind. Uh, but it does not sound like Hurts will play. He is officially listed is doubtful. I think you will see Gardner Minshew. I do think there's a very good chance that Gardner Minshew beats the Saints. I mean, he almost beat the Cowboys. He actually played pretty well. So who do you have winning? E for the Eagles, S for the Saints in the comments section. In terms of rooting, I'll get to the full one here in a little bit. Uh, but you're still alive for the number one seed. And the Eagles have the Saints first round pick. And I don't know about you guys. I'd rather Philly not end up with Another top 10 pick and a mid to late 20s or 30s pick, whatever it ends up being. So two pretty darn good reasons for the Cowboys' own self-interest short-term and long-term to root for the Saints in this game. I'm not overly confident, but I will be cheering for New Orleans anyway. Men's closets were due for a fairly radical reinvention, and Roan has stepped up to the challenge. Roan's commuter collection is the most comfortable, breathable, and flexible set of products known to man. Shirts, pants, all super comfortable, fantastic. It's a product for every occasion, right? And they get you ready for whether it's the work, the drinks, the golf course even, whatever it is. Roan has you covered. You never have to worry about what to wear with the Roan commuter collection. 
dress pants, uh, shirts, dress shirts, quarter zips, polos. They got you covered. Roan's comfortable four-way stretch fabric provides breathability and flexibility. It leaves you free to enjoy whatever life throws your way from your commute to work to your, hey, your, your golf outing, 18 holes of golf since I'm a very uh, – Avid golfer. I don't get to play that much, but but I am I am actually pretty good at it. They got Gold Fusion anti odor technology, so you're smelling fresh and clean all day long. Roan is also 100% mas machine washable, so you can ditch the dry cleaner because it's 2022. Nobody wants to spend time going to the dry cleaner. The commuter collection gets you through any workday and straight into whatever comes next. Head to roancom sports. Use promo code chatsports to save 20% off your entire order. It's 20% off everything when you go to R-H-O-N-E dot com slash chat sports and use chat sports. Find your corner office comfort with Rome. I will briefly mention the Week 18 match. I hope we can watch the Commanders game this Sunday, too, to get a, a feel for how Carson Wentz will play. It'll be Wentzian, uh, I think, in the end. And by what I mean with Wentzian is moments of like, how do you do that? Also, why do you do that? Of good and bad. And in the end, there's a lot more bad than there is good there. Uh, but the Cowboys, there's a very real chance they have nothing, nothing to play for in Week 18. That Philadelphia beats the Saints. The Cowboys are locked into the five seed. And frankly, they might even know who they're playing in that game. More on that in a little bit. So what should the Cowboys do with their key starters come Week 18? We'll spend some more time on this once we know the outcome for certain later in the week. But let me know. R for rest, P for play. Sound off in the comments section. Now, folks, we cover the Cowboys better than anyone else. Daily videos, even around the holidays, we're still keeping you guys covered. Hit that sub button, youtube.com slash at Cowboys TV for free. All you got to do is subscribe right now. Let's get then to our week 17 rooting guide. We mentioned the Saints and Eagles I know some of you might prefer to be in a situation where you can rest, which I understand, but hey, I would rather try to win that football, have a chance to get a, a bye would be nice. I would like that a lot in the playoffs because you don't have to win as many games, and it makes life easier, uh, even though it's no guarantee you go further. Raiders over the Niners, Packers over the Vikings, Raiders over the Niners, I think we all agree with. Uh, I understand potential concern over Aaron Rodgers getting into the postseason and somehow the Cowboys have to play him. But I would rather still get the division in the home game than having to go play what is likely three games on the road in the postseason. So I don't want to put all my eggs in the Bears beating the Vikings basket. So I'll be cheering for the Packers over Minnesota to help my potential number one seed odds. Because worst case, right, you, oh, you Eagles win, hey, Packers win, then you... You think against the Commanders and you sabotage and, and you let the you let the Commanders get over Green Bay. Just throwing that out there as an option. Maybe maybe that's a path for you, but that, that's that's a future problem. But this week, Packers over Minnesota to keep those number one seed open lives. Uh, Panthers over Bucks. We'll, we'll come back to the NFC South here, but uh, I don't want to play Tom Brady. I, I still want to do it. I'll take my chances with Sam Darnold and Tom Brady, even though Brady's not been that good this year. It's Brady. Brady somehow throws three picks in a playoff game and win. That's just what he does. It's what he does. I, I, don't, I don't want that, that voodoo BS on, uh, against me this year. Week 18, just to keep in mind, uh, Giants at Eagles, which real chance that game means nothing for either team. If the Giants take care of business this week, which we'll see. Cardinals at the Niners. Uh, it's David Blow's turn, or Blau's turn at quarterback for Arizona. He sucks. Uh, the Niners are gonna, the, the Niners are gonna not have issues, I think, against Arizona if he has to play Week 18 as well. Vikings at the Bears. That could be a Justin Fields. You know, maybe the Bears are trying to tank to get that number one pick. NFC South time. Uh, the Saints are still allowed. The Bucks would clinch the division this week with a win over Carolina. Otherwise, it goes to Week 18, and Carolina's got to win. Of the three NFC South teams still alive, who do you most want to avoid? S for the Saints, P for the Panthers, B for the Bucks. Now, I'm going B. I don't want to play Brady. I don't. I know that he's not been that good. And you should beat all three of those teams. On the road, you should win. Even if it is an ugly 27-13 type of game, you should win. But it's Brady. You know, if, if, uh, if Jameis Winston was their QB, but I don't care who you play. I just don't want to play Brady. Uh, we've been down that road. You, you've, you've never beaten him. It, it just scares me. 
Some final thoughts before we go here. The Jags Packers OT double digit point lead blown game losses really hurt because you would be in very real position to get that number one seed. You were that close. Now, you know, Philly and Minnesota and San Fran all saying similar things, I guess. Um, those losses hurt because you were, it's the only games you've lost since Dak came back and you choked them away. Uh, again, in large part because of your defense, that's a different conversation. I suppose the worst case outcome here is you get to rest in week 18, right? That's not a bad outcome. Now, I suppose there is the outcome of you Eagles lose this week and then you're playing for the division crown and the Eagles end up beating the Giants in week 18 and then you suffer an injury. That's like your nightmare outcome. But like for the, as we sit right now, eh, worst case is, is, you, is you rest in week 18. I wouldn't mind that. But in the end, I would prefer a home game for Dallas. You've played great at home this year. You've been a really good football team in Arlington. I would like to have that home field advantage. Uh, that just makes it easier. We're talking like, you know, 5, 10, 15%, whatever. I'll take that. I'll take any advantage I can get because it's been a great regular season for the Cowboys. It really has been. And I know in the playoffs, things are fluky. You got to get hot. Your quarterback has to play well. You can't make as many mistakes as you have. I want every advantage I can get. And buys and home field are advantages. And as good as the regular season has been, and we'll spend some time on this more on Monday, go win some playoff games. Go do it. I know that fans and us as fans and media are all locked in on, on the rings and playoff success, and we kind of ignore the process-oriented stuff from the regular season to focus on a small sample size that is very fluky. But it's been a long freaking time. So go win some playoff games, please, Cowboys, I beg of you.